The following video contains images from precious donor forms whose gift and families we respect and appreciate. They make our learning possible. Please share that respect and meet their trust and mine by strictly refraining from any form of image capture. Thank you and enjoy. So having divided the hemispheres of Anna's brain by cutting the corpus callosum uh, and the underlying structures, I'd like to have a look at what, we, what we're looking at here. Do you see there's a little, a little shape right there? It's about the size of a pine nut. That's the pineal gland, okay? The pineal gland of Anna. Anna's pineal gland, how beautiful. Look at that, that's perfect. And we can still see its gaggle of vasculature that surrounds it. Like, it's kind of like a spider's egg. See that? It's surrounded by vasculature. It's the second most vascular organ by weight in the whole body. Uh, so much blood is delivered here. This is like a little, a little blood meter, right? And it reads the blood, it interprets it, and it, and it adds information substances to the blood based on the information substances that it reads in the blood. It's an endocrine gland. Now look at here. You see how it has a little foot? Uh, the, the, the pineal gland has feet. You see, on both sides, here and here. And the pineal gland kind of stands in the back of the third ventricle, right here, and, and is bathed in cerebrospinal fluid as a consequence. And I just love it. Now, if you want to know what's the relationship of the pineal gland to the pituitary gland, which many people are curious about that, put the cerebellum back in, and we'll let the cerebrum ride on top. There we go. And now look, here's Anna's pineal gland in position. Beautiful pineal gland. And where does the pituitary live? It lives forward and down inside the cell turcica. So look down there. There's a, little, there's a little stem. You see that stem right there? That is the stem or the infundibulum of the pituitary gland. It's perfect. Look at that stem. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. That's lit up pretty well, huh? Oh, that makes me happy. So the infundibulum of the pituitary gland lives right underneath the optic chiasma. X marks the spot for the pituitary gland living inside of the sphenoid bone in what we call the Turkish saddle. And you can see there's sort of a dural circle around it right here. See this dur circle of dura through which that stem pops out and anchors the pituitary gland, particularly in its posterior aspect, to uh, to the brain, to the neural tissue. So we have a kind of a neural part of the pituitary gland. But now if I settle that back down, right, and you can see where it lives, you can see that the pineal gland is posterior and superior to the pituitary, and then we can kind of arc our way back and forth between the pineal and the pituitary underneath the optic chiasma here, right, and, and kind of feel our way through that arc of brain tissue. Uh, that's awesome. Look at Anna's beautiful pineal gland. That's so exciting. So now that we've identified the pineal gland and the pituitary gland and charted the relationship between the two inside the skull, in the following section of this video, I have hemisected the skull of Anna and Z so that we can actually see the pituitary gland in cross-section seated in the cella turcica of the sphenoid bone, situated right above the sphenoidal sinus, which I hope will illustrate the position of the pituitary gland even better. And when you look back at this image, you'll understand it even more clearly. If you look above the sphenoidal sinus, you see there's kind of a, a seat built into it. This is called the cella turcica, the Turkish saddle. And right here is the pituitary gland. It's been sitting here all along. And we can pause here for a second, and I've tried to, to really bring your attention to the saliturcica with all the little arrows pointing to its concavity of bone and the pituitary seated within the saliturcica. 
Uh, of course, in order to orient ourselves in general, we can see the frontal sinus to the left of the image, uh, as well as the nasal conch, the hard palate, the sphenoidal sinus. So we're looking at the at a cross section, a sagittal section of the skull with the face side to your left and the rear of the head to the right. So we're, we're fairly central in the skull. You see, it's very snug inside its seat because of this, this aspect of the dura, which we can see there's a hemicircle here of dura and a little hole there. Well, this hemicircle of dura is complete, <laughs> of course, when the skull is complete and there's a dural circle creating kind of a lid over the cella turcica where the pituitary gland lives. X marks the spot with the optic chiasma crossing exactly over it. Here I've literally made an X marking the spot where the optic chiasma forming from the left and right optic nerve as they exit the orbits of the eye on their way back to the brain, mark the place where we would find underneath the infundibulum of the pituitary gland and the gland itself seated in the cella turcica as shown in donors Z and Anna. And it's infundibulum kind of back bending underneath the optic chiasma. So that's our pituitary gland, or at least half of it, uh, in Anna, and if we look, at, oh yeah, and here's, here's the optic nerve, actually the stub of the optic, optic nerve coming through here, heading over here to form that optic chiasma that I just mentioned. Now, come back to Z, and we'll see that he too has his pituitary gland uh, sitting here in the seat, and there's the stem, uh, the infundibulum still intact, the little, the little, it looks like a little pumpkin to me, with a stem at the top and it sits in its little pumpkin patch, the cella turcica, the Turkish saddle, which is a feature of the sphenoid bone. Now the sphenoid bone also has as a feature of itself this great membranous thing. Now this, this, uh, this sinus, which I can actually, see if I can push this membrane away and give you a sense of the dimension of that sinus there. It's quite spacious. Pituitary gland special spot. Thanks, Anna. Thanks, Z.